Hi, I'm Alex Anders, and this is Bisexual Real Talk. That's right, it's a new opening, and it's a new beginning. And on top of all that, this is the first Patreon-supported video that I am doing. Thank you, Patreon supporters. If you would also like to see more videos uh, on a more regular basis, uh, you can support me on Patreon. There's a link in the description below, but I'll talk more about it at the end of the video. Until then, let's talk about some things that the bisexual community have been needing for a long, long time. What is that? That would be a few words that have been missing from our vocabulary, which I am about to <laughs> put here, and also that I'll be using exclusively from this point forward on all of my channels. So what is that? Okay, so the first word is, uh, let's start with a little game. So let's say that you, were, you wanted to refer to somebody who was um, specifically about sexual orientation, about being bi or gay. So if you wanted to like group them together, what is a word that you could say that would specifically talk about that group? Would you say that if you want to refer to bisexuals and gay people, would you just simply refer to them as gays? Would you? Would you? I hope you wouldn't because yeah, bisexuals aren't gay, gays aren't bisexuals, they're two separate things, and to, to refer to bisexuals as being gay is to erase bisexuality and to be cause, part of the problem as a part of the, instead of part of the solution. So I would hope that if you were referring to specifically with sexual orientation, uh, bisexuals and gays, you would not use the word gay. So would you then use the word queer? Well, I've done a video on this, and I can tell you as a fact, as of the last study that I saw, only 6% of bisexuals embrace the word queer. Now, I know it feels like it's more than 6% because those 6% are really vocal, but the truth is it's only 6%. So the rest of us either are neutral on it or the rest of us have a negative connotation on the word queer, and more than that, Queer is not about sexual orientation. Queer is about gender expression. How do I know that? Because all the people who use it have a tendency to be less gender normative. And, and who are you referring to when you say queer? Are you referring to just uh, bisexuals and gay people? Or are you also referring to trans people? And are you also referring to non-binary people? And are you also referring to straight people who also identify as queer? So using queer to specifically mean Bisexuals and gay people is not even not just, you know, a little offensive to some of us, but it's also unclear and a little inaccurate. So can't use that. Do you instead use, and this is what I used, which is not straight. Like that kind of explains it, right? Everyone who isn't straight is this thing I'm referring to. Well, here's the reason why I've decided that I will not be saying that anymore. It's because that describes us and also gay people as not something else. That's like saying that everyone else around the world is not American. Like that's how you refer to them, just not American. Or I am not white. What is he? Oh, he's not white. Uh, 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 cringy, right? So to refer to bisexuals and gay people as not straight is describing someone in a negative and it's not great. So what do you do? If none of those words are an accurate way and a clear way, and if you, after you say it, you have to clarify exactly what you mean, then what do you say instead? Well, if you were to write it, you would write it like this, right? Well, how about we just remove the slash? What does that sound like to you? I know to me, it sounds like by gay. Or if you want to slur it all together, by gay. Or sounds kind of sounds like baguette. <laughs> it's it's a fun word, and honestly, from this point forward, um, it's a word I'm going to use because it accurately describes what is it I'm referring to. Like I'm referring to people outside of heterosexuality, so bisexuals and homosexuals, and I don't have to do any more clarification. If you know what the word is, I don't have to then say, oh, but I'm specifically referring to this group or anything like that. I just have to say one word, begay. Begay, 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 begay. It's a fun word to say, and I'm hoping that you guys find it helpful. 
So what is another word that I think bisexuals have been lacking for a long, for a long time? Well, let's say, uh, let's take a think about the sexual orientation uh, scale, right? On one side, a person is fully heterosexual. On the other side, they're fully homosexual. What are the people, what is that thing called, that space in between those two groups called? Are you referring to it as a spectrum? Fair enough, fair enough, fair enough, George. Okay, so what is it when, uh, what is that space in between with um, sexual desire? So on one side of the sexual desire scale, there's people who are very sexual, like have a strong sexual desire, and on the other end are asexuals. But what's that space called in between those two extremes? Is referred to as the spectrum? Hmm. Okay, so what about those people who have the uh, mental, let's call it the mental ability um, of autism? Whereas on one side, there are people who don't have any sort of autistic characteristics at all. And the other end is the people with a lot of the characteristics. That space in between is called what? The spectrum. So when you say spectrum, are you referring to the autistic spectrum? Are you talking about the sexual desire spectrum? Or are you talking about the sexual orientation spectrum? And anytime you use a word and then you have to then clarify which particular definition of that word that you're using, it's an unhelpful word. So from now on, I'm referred to as a sexual orientation, the people in between the, on the sexual orientation scale, as being on the spread. That's right. From this point forward, whenever you hear me say the word spread, that's what I'm referring to. It's not a word that's going to be mistaken for anything else. Um, it has a connotation of something being like, you know, like like a spectrum, like a like a scale, and it kind of denotes, denotes a couple of things, like like bread is a butter is spread on bread, butter tastes good, or bed spread or spreadsheet. Either way, from now on, instead of saying uh, bisexual spectrum, I'm just going to refer to the word spread, and that is what I mean. And what is that third word that I think that the bisexual community desperately needs? This one is just, this one like kind of has a different feel for it, and it's a phrase. So if you're walking down the street and you see a shop, and that shop has a rainbow flag flying outside of it, what is it telling you? Now, my instinct is to say that that shop is gay-friendly. Is that an accurate description? Like, are they just saying that they are gay friendly? Like they don't, like specifically, they don't care about bisexuals or anything else, but they want to let you know that they are gay friendly, only to gays and everyone else is just questionable. Is that what they're trying to communicate? Or would you say they're LGBT friendly? Uh, okay, so are you saying they're LGBT friendly as opposed to LGBTQ friendly? As opposed to LGBTQIA friendly? as opposed to LGBTQIA friendly or plus friendly. So what exactly is that referring to? Like if you're gonna start getting specific, then you're kind of like eliminating something else. And if you say it's just gay friendly, what are you saying that all bisexuals are gay? Are you saying that everyone who is like outside of heteronormativity is gay? Are you saying that? Then then, then what are homosexuals? Because there's only one word referred to homosexuals and if that's gay. So if, if you're saying that everyone who is homosexual or everyone who is is not heteronormative, is homosexual, it's just crazy. So what's the easiest and kind of most friendly and the most just kind of like accurate way of referring to such, to a shop that's flying a rainbow flag? Well, you know what? That shop is rainbow friendly. That's it. Not stealing anything from anyone, not taking the, you know, the, the glamour or the fantasticness away from any group, but it's just... If, they, if their shop is flying the rainbow flag as opposed to the bisexual flag or the trans flag or anything else, if they're choosing specifically to fly that flag, from now on, I'm referred to them as rainbow friendly because it's more accurate and also a little more inclusive. So that's it. Those are the three words that I think the bisexual community desperately needs and the words that I will be using from this point forward. 
And I will say begay. I think begay is a word that the bisexual community has been lacking for like the longest time. I remember a couple of years ago, I did my first by my first video on queer and how queer is such an inaccurate and just unhelpful thing to refer to bisexuals as. And I had a, a person I knew message me, like a person, a fellow bisexual leader, uh, message me and say, "Well, I get your point, and I, I think you're I think you're right, but." how else am I supposed to refer to um, bisexual and gay people? If I just wanted to refer to those people, those specific sexual orientations, what else can I say other than queer? And honestly, I didn't have an answer. And I think I might have just said not straight. So this is a word, but gay is a word that bisexuals have needed for a very long time. What do you think about these words? Do you think that you would use it? Lord knows I'm going to use it. I've already told my friends that I'm always going to be using these words and that this is what they mean. And it's just, it just feels freer. It feels freer not having to define myself in any way as gay, because I'm not. Because I don't identify it, I'm glad I, I don't, and I'm, I just, I, I feel so much freer being able to not having to define myself in a framework of homosexuality. How do you feel about that? I hope you like it, and I hope you use it. So, if you like this video and you'd like to see more videos on the Bisexual Real Talk channel, um, you can support me on Patreon. I've been going through some hell with Amazon, my books recently. Let me tell you, I just did a whole video on my other channel, Bisexual Author, Bisexual Romance Author Vlog, which is a link to it right there. I'm talking about just some of the craziness that I've been going through, just even of, as of last week with Amazon. So things have been tight for me. I cannot afford to do Bisexual Real Talk videos all the time. But the Patreon supporters that have supported me so far have allowed me to at least do once a month. And my next goal is like $300 a month, and that will allow me to do two videos a month. So if you'd like to contribute to uh, me posting more regularly, please check out the link in the description below. Uh, with the rewards that you get, um, you can get uh, free copies of my books, eBooks. Um, you can get free T-shirts every month. Any of my uh, designing, my bisexual T-shirts, and I'll be designing more every month. Um, so you get one of those for free. You can get um, become a part of my of my group chat that happens every month, where bisexuals um, will be able to like talk to each other about bisexual stuff. Or, and I'm actually most excited about this, is that uh, for hundred dollars a month, we could have one on one conversations about bisexuality, about life. Um, I've had a lot of experiences with bisexuality. And if you are coming to your own, or if you just feel like you want to talk to someone about it, you, you live in a place where you don't have someone like that. Uh, for that, once a month, we will get together and we'll have a private conversation about what it's like being bisexual. You can tell me the things you're going through. I can give you my experiences and help you deal with it. And hopefully, I can get you to the place I've gotten a lot of my bisexual friends in real life, which is as a confident person who is, has embraced their bisexuality and having a better life for it. So that's what you can get um, by helping support me on Patreon. I hope you check it out. Um, you can also check out my books, but really, please, Patreon. Uh, and until the next video next month, and hopefully sooner if, uh, if I get your support on Patreon, stay cooler, my bisexual friends. Stay cooler. <laughs> Bye.